Hello again. Now that you have understood the concept of isometric view, we will see how the axis system is represented in the actual statical environment. But if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you are missing out. So please do hit the subscribe button right now and join us in this wonderful journey of learning structural engineering with StatPro. So we will now view the axis system, the global axis system in StatPro. So let us create a new file in Stat. So I hit the new option here and enter a file name. Let us name it as viewing global access in stad we make sure that the analytical option is being chosen the units chosen are in metric and we hit the create button this takes us into the preprocessor of the stat screen and this is the viewing area of stat pro and you could see the representation of the global access system at the left bottom of the viewing area which actually shows the access system in its isometric view. However, it is to be noted, this x, y and z axis that we have seen is just a representation and this axis system is not shown at the origin of the coordinate system. To view the global access system at the origin, you need to press down the shift button from your keyboard and hit the I key. You will see that the representation of the global access system at the point of origin appears. The X axis is represented by the line in blue. The Y axis is represented in red and the global Z is represented in green. If you hit the shift plus I button again, the representation would disappear. Another way of bringing this representation of the global access system at the origin is by doing a right click, going to the labels option, click on show access at origin, click on apply and OK, and you will see that the global access system again appears at the point of origin. Now, as you can understand, that this view that you see on the screen is the isometric view. You can also view the various orthographic views of this access system. So for that, you need to go to the view option from the top menu bar. And these are the boxes that you can see, which will help you to see the various views of this access system. If you hold your mouse over this box, you can see that this is the default isometric view that we are now seeing. The next box represents the top view. That is, if you're viewing the model from the positive direction of the y-axis. So if you hit on this option, what will you be seeing? You will be seeing the x-axis going towards the right and the z-axis going down, and you won't be able to see the y-axis. So if you click on this, this is exactly what you will see. Let's restore the default view by clicking on the isometric view. And now the next option here is viewing from the bottom. If you are viewing it from the minus y direction, so you'll be seeing the x-axis going towards the right and the z-axis going towards the top and you won't be seeing the y-axis. So if you click on this, you can see that the x-axis is going towards the right and the z-axis is going towards the top and you are not able to see the y-axis. Let us restore it again to the default view. The next option here is the left view as if you are viewing the model from the minus x direction. Okay, and if you click on this, you will be seeing the z-axis going towards the right and the y-axis going towards the top. Click on the isometric view again to restore the default view. This is the front view. That is, if you're viewing the model from plus Z, so obviously you'll be seeing the x-axis going towards the right direction and the y-axis going towards the top. So if you click on this, that's exactly what you see. Let us restore the default again by clicking on the isometric view option. 
the next view is the right view if you're viewing the model from the plus x direction and if you imagine you can understand that you would be seeing the z-axis going towards the left and the y-axis that would be going towards the top so if i click on this you can see the z-axis going towards the left and the y-axis going towards the top there is this last option which is viewing this model from the back but let us default uh, set the default view first <clears throat> and we click on this option which is the back view if you're viewing it from minus a direction so obviously you'll be seeing the x-axis going towards the left and the y-axis going towards the top so that's exactly what you see let us click on the isometric view to restore the default field there are various rotation options as well which we won't be explaining but you can check it out for yourself you can rotate uh, the view of the axis system You can see this, this one. And there are the spin options where uh, you can spin it towards the left or towards the right. So these options, um, uh, uh, there are keyboard options uh, that are available uh, to uh, do the rotation of the view of the access system. However, uh, we won't be discussing this right now. Uh, you would be learning them automatically um, as you get deeper and deeper into Stack Pro. So I hope you have liked this video. If you have, please press the like button and press the bell icon for more notifications from the Structural Insider channel. See you in the next video and if you have any questions, please do not forget to put that down in the comment section. Thank you.